Hey guys, Hal here. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for uh, a video for how to install the editor. Uh, so this is what we're going to cover today. So head over to the prefab editor thread on the forums. And in the first post you see a download link. Just click the link. Wait for the download. Open it up. Uh, now you can install this pretty much anywhere. I'd recommend not putting it into the folder where the game's installed because this has DLLs that um, have the same name and the same type as some DLLs in the game and if you overwrite them it can cause problems. So stick it pretty much anywhere else. Uh, so I'm just going to stick it here and then open up the editor and I'll say you can't find the settings, click OK and in this top box you want to paste the path to the game so I've created a new one called 7 days to die demo uh, steam name is whatever the character is called in the game uh, you can pretty much ignore these two and FTP I will cover in a, another video because I don't have a FTP server anymore um, but hopefully I can borrow one soon so once that's done just click OK uh, now at this point if the editor isn't at the latest version it will go away and check for an update if it finds one it will pop, pop up a uh, update box which is this manual update button forces the same thing so you'd see a change log of the latest version and what it does uh, the easiest way to install the DLL for the editor in single player is to update the uh, the editor itself and if obviously it's the latest version just do a manual update to force the update so it should go away and think about that and then here it says would you like to override the assembly C sharp DLL with the modded version if you click yes it will do it for you and that's it Um, so that should now have the uh, DLL installed. Uh, if we open up the prefab editor, uh, everything seems fine. If we launch the game, Now one thing you need to do before setting up uh, or being able to access a lot of the stuff in the editor is set yourself as an admin in the game. You can do that by, uh, if we close the prefab editor and go back to the menu, you can do it in here in the backup manager. Uh, so you see, you can see the saves and you can uh, set yourself as admin. Uh, don't forget to click the save player. Or do it the way that I'm about to show you. Uh, so if we click new game, demo, start, one thing you may notice with the modded DLL is it takes a lot longer to start the game. You have the, the world to build initially. Uh, it's an uh, after effect of some of the changes I've had to make to the code and coming from a deobfuscated source. But it shouldn't take too long, and once you're in, it's okay. Okay, so here we are in a brand new world. Uh, so if you open up the chat command and type bbb space rp, what this does is tells the editor to refresh its data. And um, while it's refreshing its data, if it doesn't find an admin user, it will just create the first person it finds as an admin. So as you're the first person in the game, you click press enter and up here it tells you no admins have been set searching for players. It's found me and it's reloaded and now I'm an admin. So I can now do all the funky stuff. Uh, a couple of handy commands are uh, BBB shield what this does is it searches for zombies in the radius around you and just kills them if it finds it so if you're busy doing admin work or you're busy building you can't be bothered killing the zombies just start the shield um, 
shield off. Yeah, and you can just turn it off like that. Uh, another handy one in with combined with debug mode. So if you start flying, you can use T B B B T P teleport, and you can jump to the city, central city. Wait for it to load in around you. So there we go. Uh, if you want to know a list of the commands, if you open up the chat command, it can go bbb question mark. It gives you a nice long list of all the commands that can be run through the editor. Um, if you wanted to know more information about each one, you can type bbb. Uh, let's go with insert prefab and then a question mark at the end. It will give you all the different ways that you can use it. So <coughs> most commands have an alias just to make typing quicker. So insert prefab's alias is IP. So rather than typing in insert prefab, you can type IP. And you use it by typing BBB IP and then the name of the prefab. That will insert a prefab uh, at the player position uh, or you can use the XYZ of the coordinates to place it at a specific place. You can use the XYZ and then a rotation of 0 to 3 to rotate it. Uh, rotation is clockwise 90 degrees uh, and oh well I've actually just removed this one to make it do it automatically um, but this one fills the area with air and then inserts the prefab, it stops a weird texture, texture glitch from happening. So then I'll just show off the shield. There you go. He died. Okay, so that's the installation process for the editor when using the editor. If you wanted to do it manually, it's dead easy. All you do is go to the directory where the editor is, and you'll see assembly C sharp. All you need to do is copy that file, go to the directory where the game is, and go into the seven days to die data directory. In there is managed, and you've got an assembly C sharp file there. If you just rename the one that's currently there to the backup. Now obviously this is the modded one because we've already gone through the process but that would usually be the original DLL and you always want to keep a copy of that in case you want to play on EAC servers. Uh, oh yeah I should mention uh, the editor DLL obviously isn't EAC compatible because it's modded uh, so you won't be able to join online servers with EAC enabled. So anyway, uh, now you've renamed that just copy in the one you want, job done. Uh, for dedicated servers, for those of you that run them, it's exactly the same process, but you'd move the assembly C sharp dedicated. Now, I do have a dedicated server on here, I think it's here, yeah. Um, so, normally you'd be FTP into this, uh, but the data structures should be the same. So, again, some days to die server data, managed, find your assembly C sharp, and rename it copy in the dedicated version and just get rid of that dedicated and the space. Reboot the server and the editor should be installed on the dedicated server as well. So is there anything else we need to go through for the installation? Don't think so. Uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Have fun.